What's going on everybody? You're welcome to solve this math question that says find the values of a and b for which a squared minus b is equal to 133 and b squared minus a is equal to 133. Well, there is a condition attached to this question that says a is not equal to b. Now we can call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. So what we can do as our first step will be for us to subtract equation 2 from 1. That means equation 1 minus equation 2. From our equation 1, on the left hand side we have a squared minus b minus the left hand side of equation 2, which is b squared minus a. And this is equal to the right hand side on equation 1 is 133 minus the right hand side of equation 2 is 133. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to open up this bracket using this negative outside. So we have a squared minus b. Now using this negative to open the bracket, we have minus b squared. So minus times minus is plus a. This is equal to, so 133 minus 133 is zero. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to write a squared. Now minus b squared. Here we have plus a and then minus b. And this is equal to zero. Now looking at what we have here from these first two terms, you notice that we have a difference of two squares. A difference of two squares can be expressed as we have a minus b times a plus b. Very good. So this is how to express difference of two squares. Here we have plus. Now this is a minus b, but I'm going to be putting it in a bracket. So we have a minus b. Very good. And this is equal to zero. Now notice that a minus b is common. So we can factor out a minus b and open a bracket. A minus B times A plus B divided by A minus B, I'll have A plus B plus A minus B divided by A minus B, I'll have 1. Very good. And this is equal to 0. So we have two factors on the left that multiplies to give 0. That shows that it's either one of these factors is 0. For example, is either a minus b is equal to 0 or a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0. So we can call this our case 1 and we can call this our case 2. Now let's solve case 1. For case 1, I'm going to be moving negative b to the right hand side. So we have a to be equal to as negative b crosses to the right, it becomes positive b. Now we have an expression that says a is equal to b. But from our given condition, the given condition says a is not equal to b. And because of that, we're going to be rejecting this solution. Now let's focus on our case 2. For our case 2, I'm going to be moving b plus 1 to the right hand side. And when I do that, I'll have a remaining on the left to be equal to, as b crosses to the right, it becomes minus b. And as 1 crosses to the right, it becomes minus 1. So we have a to be equal to minus b minus 1. We can decide to call this equation 3. Now recall from our given question, Recall that the given question is a squared minus b 
equal to 133. Remember, this is our equation 1. And b squared minus a equal to 133. This is our equation 2. Now, we're going to be putting a, which is minus b minus 1, in either of these two equations. Let's put it in equation 1. That means wherever I see a, I'm going to be putting this. So this is a squared. So I'll put minus b minus 1 all squared. Then minus b. So minus b equal to 133. Very good. Now let's expand what we have here. So this expression is in the form of x minus y all squared. And an expression like this can be expanded as x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Very good. So now let's expand this like this. So we're going to have negative b all squared. That is our x squared minus 2 times x. x is our negative b. And then times y y is our 1, and then plus y squared, that means plus 1 squared. Very good. Now, minus, minus b equal to 133. Very good. Now, negative b squared is b squared. Minus 2 times minus b times 1 gives plus 2b, and then plus 1 squared 1 squared is 1, then minus b equal to 133. Very good. So this becomes b squared plus 2b minus b is going to give us plus b, and then plus 1. As 133 crosses to the left, it becomes minus 133 equal to 0. So this results to b squared plus b. 1 minus 133 is minus 132, equal to 0. Very good. Now, recall what we did. We substituted equation 3 in equation 1. If we have to substitute equation 3 in equation 2, we're still going to have this same equation. So what does that show? It shows that these two equations are symmetric. And in that case, we're going to write this equation as a quadratic equation in terms of x, where a and b are the roots of the equations. So writing this equation as a quadratic equation in terms of x, we have x squared plus x minus 132 equal to 0. Very good. So what are the factors of 132? 11 and 12 are factors of 132, but we have negative 132 here. When I put negative here, that means I get negative 132 when they multiply. But when I add them up, I get 1. Very good. That means this works. So that means I have x squared. Instead of writing plus x, I'll be writing minus 11x plus 12x in order to replace this middle term and now minus 132 equal to 0. Very good. Now notice that for the first two terms x is common so let's factor out x. Now x squared divided by x that is x minus 11x divided by x I'm going to have 11. Very good. Plus now notice, between 12x and minus 132, you notice that 12 is common. So I'm going to be bringing out 12. Now open bracket. So 12x divided by 12, I'm going to have x. And then minus 132 divided by 12, I'm going to have 11. Very good. And this is equal to 0. Now notice that x minus 11 is very common, so we can just bring that out. x minus 11. Very good. As in factor it out and open a bracket. Now use this. 
x times x minus 11 divided by x minus 11, we have x plus 12 times x minus 11 divided by x minus 11, we have 12. Very good. And this is equal to 0. So we have two factors that multiplies to give 0. So it is either x minus 11 is equal to 0 or x plus 12 is equal to 0. Very good. Now, from this first case, you see that x will be equal to, as negative 11 crosses to the right, it becomes positive 11. So that is our first solution for x. Now, for the other solution for x, we use our second equation. So move 12 to the right-hand side. You see that x will be equal to, as 12 crosses to the right, it becomes minus 12. Very good. Like I said, this is a symmetric equation. So for symmetric equation, or let me say for symmetry, we're looking for A and B, right? It shows that the value of A can be 11, while the value of B can be negative 12. Or the value of A can be negative 12, while the value of B can be 11. Very good. So this is how to identify a symmetric equation. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.